Hello everyone, Reber5061 here. So today we're going to be working on our Steve's carts and upgrading its cutter. As you can see, I got it all taken apart. Uh, the reason why I took it apart off stream is because it took 43 minutes to do it. So I did a couple of things while I was out. As you remember from that little slip-in I did, I got this working. So this should now work. It shouldn't break anymore. Um, I also went and uh, got my quarries back going because they had went out. Uh, I'm running two quarries now at the same time. We have uh, the uh, quarry over here and I have a quarry over here. I just started working on them so it's going to be a while before they get down to mining stuff. So what we need to do is upgrade the hardened wood cutter to the to the Gal, Gal, Galgadorian woodcutter, I guess you could say. So let's see here. Uh, so we need to make this. Okay. So we need some of these. And to make these, we need some lumps. And, okay, so we need some stabilized metal. We need five of that. Well, we need two of that. We got some reinforced metal, but we don't have no stabilized. some of this. So we need another one of these. And we need to furnace these. going to need one, two, three, four, five. Five of them. Okay. So we're going to need to create this three times. So we're going to need two, four, six of these. So I need to create this another time. Um, what am I missing? 
Avender. If we don't use them all, we got I got a use for them later. Don't mushrooms grow underground? Pretty sure they did. Thistle stone. Hmm. of these. I don't know if that's uh, the same though. be that Pacific Mushroom. Nope. 
No, it looks like it has to be that specific mushroom. Oh, that sucks. Okay. I need that specific mushroom. Gonna be like finding a needle in a haystack here. It's a portobello, that ain't what I need. It's a mushroom, but it's not the mushroom I need. Let me check real quick to make sure where they are. Swamp. Nether also. The Nether seems to be a good place for them also. Oh, is this? No, that's not one. Thought it might grow down in there around the sewage. So bush and shrubs and stuff. Ah, there's one. How you doing? Okay. Okay, so I can actually grow these things. I did not know that. Well, we got some right here. I'm probably going to have to make a little bit of a farm for them. I have to do it down in my uh, mine, though, because that's where they grow. Down at level um, 12 or lower. Or light level 12. Okay. So light level 12.
if I go grab some blackout curtains. How tall do they grow? I don't know how tall they grow, so I don't know how big to make the area. Five, six, or seven block tall. Seven, seven by six. Seven, seven by eight. Seven, seven by eight. Wow. That's tall. Okay. That's pretty darn tall. So I need to expand this even more. I need to go up to seven. So this is three, five, six, seven.
so blackout curtains. And bone meal. Actually, we need to go back more. That's not a good spot there. Wasn't expecting to have to make a mushroom farm. All kinds of stuff that comes up you don't think you need, and then boom, you need it. And that was, uh, let's see here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Uh, seven by seven by eight. Okay, um, one more tall. One more tall, if I'm not mistaken. Mm, let me check something real quick. Give me an idea. So this should work. This should work. So much easier. Okay. And that's that. Oh, so, let's see here. Actually, I do need to go one more deeper. With the blackout curtains, I want it to be one more deeper. Close to a lava source, which is not good. I'm right next to that lava deal and that was outside my base. Okay, and now that and that. Boom! Wow, it took it up all of it. Look at it. It took up all of it. Well, 
I now have 23 of them. <laughs> okay. Uh, so, yeah. Yeah. And that torch should keep it all from doing anything. Yeah. Then no mobs can spawn in there. So we have enough mushrooms now, I think. <laughs> that thing big. That thing was big. Okay, so we needed to grab. Uh, let me grab, let me put all this stuff away that I don't need anymore. Uh, yeah. So now I need more of these. And uh, now to make more of these. Uh, gas tears. Um, is that enough? I don't think that's enough for how many I need to make. I need more, more, I need one more of the, uh, two more of these. I need more gas tiers. Now. Okay. So I need to smelt those down. Okay, so I need more gas tears. I can go get those real quick. I just know to go. Mm. I need four gas tears at least. Make two more of those eyes. I hear you. Where are you? somewhere to shoot at. Ah, you're up here. Hello, Mr. Gas. There we go. That's four more, so I can make four of them if I need to. that. 
Uh, now let me here, 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 and here, and let's see here. So I need two more of you. Okay. One more of you. Okay, so we can now make our Gagadorian cutter. You here, you here, and one of you here, one Gagadorian cutter. Good. So, let's see here. We need to put our cart back up in here. Cutter. Assembling cart, 2 hours, 28 minutes, 48 seconds. So that's going to take a while. Uh, Even with all of my upgrades I got on this thing, that's going to take a while. So that's going to take a while before it does, uh, but we are at the end of our episode anyway. Uh, I'll come back next time and I'll show y'all putting down and it will continue on. Uh, the... I didn't even tell you why I made the Galgadorian cutter. The Galgadorian cutter never breaks. The thing never breaks. That's why I'm putting it there. That's why I put it there, because uh, that way oh, the yeah. thing will just go, 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 go. The thing never breaks. So, the thing will cut down all these trees and never break, which is good. That's what we need it for. Um, let's see. Plenty of red trees, plenty of blue trees. With those, we can make purple. And we even got some in the deal there. Hmm. Okay. So that's all going. But yeah, this is going to be the end of the episode. I hope everybody enjoyed it. Uh, if you like the series, give us a thumbs up. Don't like the series, give us a thumbs down. Leave a comment if you want to subscribe to the channel. When you subscribe to the channel, opt in for YouTube's email opt-in. Uh, YouTube will email you when I put up a brand new video. You just click open that email, click that video, and there you go. Got your video plan. Uh, so next time we'll come back and I'll put down the Galgadorian cutter and we'll see how it goes. Uh, I'll also make sure I have uh, time to spawn a wither skeleton wither boss. So I'll do a little bit of farming here off screen of uh, wither skeleton skulls so I can make a boss next time. And we'll get that all tested out to make sure that works. And then uh, we'll, that'll probably be. And then, let's see, what do we do next? Automation. Applied Energistics Automation. We'll do that. We'll uh, get that going. That's going to be a fun deal because I'm going to make that thing. I'm going to make that molecular assembly chamber big, big, big. I'm going to go for at least n uh, nine or more pages, maybe 12. We're going. I'm going to make that thing big. Um, as a quick side note, the first ever... The first ever uh, world I did before I started making videos here, when I was just uh, try starting out with the Direwolf 20 pack, I made um, a molecular assembly chamber. The last thing I did for that world, I made one that took 25 pattern providers and 25 CPU processors inside of it. That's how big I made it. That's not the biggest that's ever been, but it's it's the biggest one I've ever made. I don't know if I'm going to make one that big this time, but I'll make a big one. Uh, it just depends on how I do. So, that's it. I'll come back next time, and we'll see you later. I hope you like the series.